Today in this video, we're gonna be building a PC, a streaming PC to be exact. If you're new here, my name is Alfred Romero and welcome to The Wave Gretzky Show. 98.8% .8 of you guys are not even subscribed yet. That means only 1.2% of you guys are actually subscribed to the channel. So right now, I'd really appreciate it if you stopped what you were doing, scroll down a little bit and hit the subscribe button. It's free and you can always unsubscribe later. This is gonna be my last video of 2020 and I just wanna say thank you guys to everybody who has joined me already in this journey. I just hit 2K subscribers yesterday. I really appreciate all 2,000 of you. Anyways, with all that being said, Merry Christmas Christmas and Happy New Year. Happy holidays to everybody out there watching these videos. I really appreciate you guys and I will see you guys next week. Enjoy the video. First things first, let's go over a part list. For my CPU, I have an AMD Ryzen 7 3700. For this build, I'm not planning on overclocking, so I'm gonna just use the stock fan that it comes with. For power, I have a Seasonic Focus GX 850. This is 850 watts, 80 plus gold. For RAM, I have G-Skill Trident Z, Neo Series, 32 gigabytes or two sticks of 16. For the GPU, I'm rocking the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060. Again, if you haven't seen my last video where I bought it off eBay, I'll link it up here. For a case, I have the NZXT H510i case. These are available online as well as Best Buy. Housing all this for the motherboard is gonna be the Asus Tough Gaming 570 Pro with Wi-Fi. And for the monitor, we have the Asus 27 inch, 165 hertz, 2K curved monitor. Let's go ahead and crack open these boxes and start the build. All right, so here we have the motherboard. Now that I have that open, I'm gonna go ahead and open my Ryzen 7 AMD CPU. Nice. This thing is crispy. Man. While we're at it too, I'm gonna go ahead and open the RAM so that way I can just throw it on there right after I put the CPU on. Whew. Wow. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox the CPU. I'm gonna throw that in there. For those that know me know that I've been waiting to build a PC for the longest time now. So I'm gonna go ahead and lift up this tab right here. Go ahead and match up the arrow with the corner. Perfect. Now that we have that in there, I'm gonna just go ahead and close this up. So we have our RAM right here. We're just gonna go ahead and throw that into the second and the fourth slot here. So sweet, now that I have that done, I'm gonna go ahead and move over to the internal solid state drive. Yeah, so I think that only has one spot for it to go on and I think that is right here. Awesome. Whew. Awesome, now that we got that on, just hand tight is good enough. Just gonna go ahead and package this stuff up and kind of clear my workspace out. Now we're gonna go ahead and install the fan to the CPU. So now that I have the whole motherboard kind of set up here and ready to go, I'm gonna go ahead and just move this to the side and then I'm gonna get out the case and then start going through taking off the glass, taking off the screws, and braiding the cords um, just kind of where they need to go, and then get it ready for the motherboard. So let's do it. This is already pretty cleaned up for me. Power supply will go down here. It has 
cords for fan one, two, and three, but there's only two fans on this case. Maybe it's kind of like an open slot, just ready to go, that's wired. Alrighty, so I already got a lot of stuff connected. I'm gonna just go ahead and go through and install the power supply. Some time has elapsed. Basically, I got everything pretty much finished with the power supply and I've routed my cables for my GPU just to plug it right in right after I install it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in the GPU now, plug in a monitor, plug in a keyboard, and then see if we have power to this thing. It's time. I got the monitor going. I'm gonna plug in my USB drive with the operating system on it. I'm basically just using Linux for the time being. Um, I'm gonna try it out. If I like it, I'm gonna stick with it. If not, then uh, I'll go back to Windows. All right, let's see the moment of truth. Oh, gotta flip the switch. Flips the switch. Oh, I see some LEDs. Oh, so all the fans are working. Just flip this light off just so we can see. Not bad. Not bad. Again, it'll probably look a little bit cooler once I get fans with LED lights on them on the back and on the top right here, but we just wanted to get this thing up and running now. But yeah, so I'm booting up Linux right now. I'm doing Pop! OS. Um, I'm going to try this for a week, see if I like it. And if I don't, I'll go back to Windows. But I definitely want to try this out. I'm going to go ahead and let this install. I'm going to go ahead and put the glass back on. And then I'm going to just clean up this area and then get it all set up.